Hey y'all, so I wanted to show y'all the first few things that I purchased when I started my online boutique. So let's go ahead on and get into it. I don't even know why this is here. <laughs> I don't know why this is here either. Okay, but in all seriousness, one of the first things that I purchased was this Z-Bar. And I wanted to use this for content purposes as well as um, doing like my photo shoots and stuff like that. So what I had in mind was that I would stand in front of this Z-Bar and do kind of like a little get ready with me, outfit of the days, how to wear items and things like that. So that was one of the first purchases that I've ever made. Okay, and one of the next purchases that I made in the very beginning was this steamer. I got this steamer um, because I knew I was going to be doing a lot of pop-up shops. And I also knew that I was going to be using this Z-Bar to do outfit of the days. And so I didn't want the clothes to be wrinkled at the pop-up shops or in my content. So that was one of the next purchases. So one of the next things that I got when I started my boutique was this scale. I got this scale strictly because I wanted to weigh the product. This scale was way too small. If you're gonna be getting a scale for your boutique, I suggest you get something a little bit bigger. And it's important to know the weight of your products because when you go into Shopify or whoever you use as your website host, that is going to be um, important because of shipping purposes. So you wanna make sure that you're putting in the accurate weight per product. And last but not least, I probably purchased every size poly mailer because I just didn't know what was gonna be a big order, a small order, a little order, whatever. So I suggest getting multiple sizes of poly mailer. And that's pretty much all I purchased in the beginning besides inventory and you know the everyday stuff. But other than that, that was it.